you for joining with us for Thought for the Day. I trust you're all well at this difficult time. Two words that have been on my mind and heart recently are unfil unfiltered speech. But before we go into that, let me take you back to the late 40s, early 50s, when I was growing up in Belfast. As was custom at that time, neighbours, friends and family often called in for a cup of tea and a chat. You see, coffee shops hadn't been invented then. I recall the teapot simmering on the sto stove, ready for whoever called. And this is something we had, which was uh, not used so much today, was the tea strainer. One held the strainer over the cup and poured the hot water into the strainer and it caught the offending tea leaves. Sometimes the strainer would not be used and you could be sure of, an unwelcome, of the unwelcome leaves entering the cup and then your mouth. What you might call an unfiltered experience. Probably one of the reasons tea bags were produced shortly after. Today we often hear the phrase unfiltered speech which sometimes though not always describes how one talks in a non-guarded, unwelcome, distasteful manner, which can lead to bitterness and resentment. John 13, verses 34, 35, Jesus speaks these words to the disciples. So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. As Christians, it's important that we treat not only our brothers and sisters, believers, but also the non-believers with all the love and grace that we have been given by our Heavenly Father. I pray that wherever unfiltered speech is spoken, there will be no unwelcome, distasteful, bitterness or resentment language used or received. Would you join with me as we listen to the song, O oh, the Blood, sung by Selah. <laughs> 